decided to come home. You still up, child? Obviously, you still up. That's right, I'm hanging out with the fellas, you know. We had this retro going on, child. Ronald. That's why, that's why I got my DJ Red outfit on. Ronald, this, this, this can't go on. You, can, you can't do this. You can't come in at 3 o'clock in the morning and think this is okay? Is that late? Yeah, is that late? I guess we had too good of a time, child. Have you been drinking? No, I ain't been drinking. What are you talking about? Ronald, I smell alcohol all over you. All right, then. Maybe I just had one drink, y'all. Jesus drink one, too. Come on, guys. Jesus did not drink. Drinking is not a sin. Drinking is not a sin, y'all. Turn water into wine. You, you, you need to read your Bible. Because you don't know the Bible. You need to. Ooh, man. Oh, man, I can do a wig, though. Ooh, this, this is ridiculous. This is this is ridiculous. You're gonna have to make a choice, Ronald. I'm not gonna continue to deal with this. Deal with what, Charlie? You going out? I don't have, I don't have, I don't have friends. friends. Just because you don't have friends, don't mean I don't have friends. Ronald, Marriage don't make me stop hanging out with the fellas. Not in this way. You are a married man. You should not be coming in this time of night. There's only one time out of the week, Charlie. Give you six days. What? I'm old. What days out with the fella? How they gonna hurt our marriage? Really? Think about what you're saying, Ronald. It makes no sense. What I gotta be every night with you? Okay. What are you talking about? I can't have friends? You can have friends, and actually you can have them seven days a week, because I'm not dealing with this. I'm what do you mean you're not dealing with I'm this? I'm done. This is ridiculous. I'm done. This is just foolish that's going on. Why can't I have friends? Everyone and welcome back to RCRC. That is the Relationship Connection with Ronald and Charlie, where we equip, empower, and educate couples on how to thrive in their relationships. How? Through candid conversations right here on this platform. I am Charlie Willis, a mental health therapist. I'm Ronald Willis, a marriage and family therapist. And Charlie, we at it again. That is right. We are now in season three, and thank you for joining us. If you'd like to learn more about us, check us out on our website at firstfocusfaith.com or our social media platforms of Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And don't forget to help support this ministry by making a contribution to our cash app at First Focus Faith. And if you're watching by YouTube, like, subscribe, comment, share, do it all, because we need it all. Yes, indeed. Thank you. So we're walking into another show, and this one is going to be interesting today. All right, Charlie. I'm just trying to find out why a brother can't hang out with the homeboy. Yeah, so up front, let's just talk about this foolishness that you Foolishness? Just Come yes. on, man. I'm just clip. trying to have some fun, man. Come on. I'm trying to get my bromance on. Okay, why do you would want to do that? I don't the know. The bromance but... is in effect, y'all. That doesn't even sound like it should even go together, but that's some new term. It's some new term. <laughs> that is that's the, the realness. Music. Okay. Man, come on. Can I have a, a other relationship I, outside I would... of the relationship with my spouse? Yeah, I just be careful about that bromance. Bromance. Yes. Bromance is on and popping, y'all. Might give out. Um, ideas that may not be exactly what everybody is into. So anyway, let's talk about uh, what uh, transpired in this clip here. So looks like um, Ronald was coming in late. He let the sun beat him home. Well, I didn't realize how late it was. So I'm just out enjoying, uh, enjoying myself with my friends. I do not see any harm in that. Yeah. Well, um, possibly... <laughs> But um, there's some other things that even looking at this uh, this skit, the clip here, that were really not good. You, for one, it was daylight when you got home. Then, then it looked like you, it 
you appear to be intoxicated. Have you been drinking? No, I ain't been drinking. What you talking about? Ronald, I smell alcohol all over you. Just a one drink? Come yeah, on, no, man. One, one drink don't, don't hurt anybody. Yeah, one Didn't strong I say it? drink. Jesus drank wine? I don't remember all that, and I remember you turning water into wine. Let's look over those items again in the Bible. But anyway, you came in as one drink, intoxicated. So how'd you get home? You had to drive home. Um, it's just oops. Yeah, <laughs> it's just some other things that you know. You, I was clearly upset. Clearly upset. Wasn't having it. Uh, so there's, there's a lot to unpack in that yeah, video. Yeah, I, I guess the dangerous. big question is: It okay? For me, the man in the home, to hang out with his homeboy. Okay. Is that okay? First, I don't know why you had to say me, the man. Me, the man. If that the husband. It, um, substantial. That yeah, when Is it home. okay that the spouse hang out with his homeboys? What's the harm in that? You know what? For me, if you ask me that question, I don't see a harm in it at all. For the wait wife, a minute, the video suggested that, that it's a no. Wait for the wife or the husband. However, there are definitely parameters and things that should be in place that should be discussed prior. Um, there's some things that, you know, respect um, that should be put in place before we even go out on those kind of limbs. And every relationship is different. You know, we come across um, counseling different couples who have different standards in their relationships about hanging out and uh, how many times a week or going when and where. But when it, there's still some issues there that can be damaging. And then the amount of time to, it's just a lot of factors that we need to talk about. So the answer to the question is yes for you, Charles? Possibly. I'm saying no for me. Possibly. Not no wholeheartedly. Just okay. no in our relationship. I don't want to hang out with the homeboys late at night. I mean, well, that's good. I'm glad. <laughs> that's good. Okay, hanging out with homeboys is okay, but you, like you said, you got to put some things in perspective. Yeah, right. And who's number one and who's number two or who's number three? That's right. Yeah. You know, but what, what about if I want to have a girl's night? So anyway. Wrong answer. That's no such thing, y'all. Let's move forward. Yeah, let's educate our viewers on, you know, we always say, yes, hanging out with the homeboys is okay. However, that requires a conversation to bring about an understanding of what that looks like in your relationship. Right, right. So the first thing, let's talk about it. Number first one, thing you want to have. Number one, establishing some boundaries. Here. The biggest one of all. Mm. You got to establish a boundary. Right. Okay. So Matthew 5, 37 in the Message Bible tells us, just say yes and no. When you manipulate words to get your own way, you, you go wrong. wrong. And we that both is know huge. manipulation Man. of words and boundaries can That's definitely right. uh, impart and, and just screw things up here. Yeah, because the, the, the ultimate understanding of establishing the boundaries is get a yes or no of what is acceptable in your relationship. Okay? It's not about what you want. It's about, it's about what we want and what is acceptable in our relationship. And of course, as the words say, there's no manip manipulation involved. Okay? Because then you, you're making it about what self want and you're not putting the we concept in into the conversation to make it about what we want. Yes. And let me first uh, say, even before all of this gets started, when you establish your boundaries, you, this is conversations that need to be happening up front. Before the up marriage front. even happened, uh, while front. the relationship is going on, the expectations, because we so often think that things are kind of okay with us it's and then okay because my spouse not mix, saying anything yeah then it becomes a big problem that's right so time well, well let, let's let's talk about we talk about boundaries and, and let's talk about that boundaries should be established in the beginning right in the middle and keep going on that's because good. things change that's right the, the boundaries that i have established now may not be acceptable two years later that is correct so yeah. there's a conversation that continues on in the relationship you make a good point because we may be without children in the beginning of the relationship and then we have children and then what That's you know right. now there's a big whole family to think of yeah. so time let's talk about under establishing boundaries time first thing you want to start the time. understanding of what time looks like for both partners so if you make this decision to do this what is uh spending too much time with your friends look like you know and what time should you be coming in the house well, in other, other words the frequency 
How often are you spending time with your friends? Is it every night, every week, every month? What does that look like? And then you come to an understanding of what is acceptable. Yeah. You know, for example, I may hang out with my friends every night, but that's unacceptable for you. Yeah. So we come together and compromise and what it looks like so that I can I can hang out with my friends, but it's not too much time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right, because, you know, hanging out every night is just not something you yeah. do in a, in a marriage or a relationship because mm-hmm. not, it becomes unhealthy. That's right. Okay? That's right. So definitely you want to have an understanding of what that looks like for you and your relationship, and y'all agree to that. Mm-hmm. And you, there may be some give and take, okay? Mm-hmm. Also, in uh, what time are you coming in the door? Yeah, so the frequencies involve how often you're spending time with your friends. Now is how late at night you're coming in. What does that, what does that look like? Is 3 a.m. acceptable in your relationship like in the video? Doesn't seem like it's acceptable for you. <laughs> 3 a.m. That looks more like 5, 6 a.m. <laughs> what, what, what we said, 3 a.m. Oh, okay. I'm you sorry. You clocked at 3 well, a.m. I guess we you must coming be in at 3 a.m. Alaska or something because it was sunlight. So anyway. Well, it's not sunlight. It was just a light on in the room. Oh, okay. Don't get it twisted, <laughs> y'all. Don't let the light fool you. Yeah, so yeah, so, yeah, time, that is a big factor because, right. like, is it okay to hang what are out? you doing at 3, 4, 5 o'clock in the morning? Just hanging out with the fellas. That's all. No. No. But anyway, you you want to establish that in your relationship, what right. that looks like. And then you don't want to be so rigid with it also. Right? We established uh, 1 a.m. is the time and it's 1.05. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's being rigid, okay? And then, of course, if, if you do establish the time, and if you're running late, that requires maybe a text message to your sponsor. Hey, hey, you better pick up that phone and call. Pick up the phone. It requires communication to let the yeah. spouse know that, yes, I'm trying to make it there at, at 1 a.m. However, this has occurred, so I may be a little late. I'm okay. Right. Um, you know, right. this and that. So Because if you establish that time and you pass it, that creates a different, a negative thought process in your partner. Well, perhaps that something may be wrong with you. What's going on? Mm-hmm. They may even think you might be cheating. Who knows, right? But it does not create a positive thought process for your partner when you go beyond the time they're expecting for you to come home. Right, yeah. right. Okay. But the ultimate thing is that both partners agree what time is appropriate for coming to the house. Okay? Coming home. Coming home. Coming home, right? What, what is the time for us, Charlie? Did, did we ever even establish a time? We did. We did. Because you remember, y'all. And uh, we can wild on because I don't go nowhere. I'll be tired. I'm, I'm talking about for me. Nine, you don't go away either. What time? I, okay, if I did go somewhere, what time I got to be back home? Same time I am. Cause we <laughs> yeah, together. We together, man. Come on, get a brother, hang out with his homeboys, and get his drink on. You have no homeboys. So. Dog it, man. <laughs> I got to get some. Y'all. You. Okay, man. If you want to be my homeboy, give me a call, man. Anyways, all but right. I, I don't drink, y'all. So under the boundaries, <laughs> let's look at another number two here. The place, like where are you going? Where you go? Where you going at? Where you going at? Where you at? Okay, are you going to the strip club? I hope not. Are you going to the club? Are you hanging out at your friend's okay. house? Where you going at? Y'all playing okay. card games, but you know where you going at? That's you know, right. Where, and you, what that look like? You, you want your partner to be okay with where you going? Right. Okay. It's just, just being responsible mm-hmm. and respectable and respectful, as we talked about early. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, as a married man, you shouldn't be going anywhere. With anybody. With anybody. Doing okay, anything. There's, there's appropriate places, and there's places you should probably you should not go. Yeah. However, at the end of the day, is what is acceptable in your relationship, what both partners agree, and then don't be so rigid with the agreement where you, later on it does not change. Mm, okay. Because you said that before. Yeah, because, because now I may be okay with you going to the strip club five years later. I'm going to have a problem. I never was okay with it from the get. You don't like going to the strip club? Well, I got to go to the strip club for no. Women go to the strip club? Don't they? I don't know. I think you told me you used to go. Not that. All right, let's <laughs> move on. All right, number three. Talks about friends. Friends. How many of us? Oh, I'm sorry. Like, uh, wrong, Charlie. Sorry, friends. Yeah. So, inappropriate friends? What is that about? Friends of the opposite sex. What is that about? Friends that are married, friends that are single. Who makes the decision if the friend's inappropriate? Okay, so I, we said this before, and probably in another video we talked about it, and if we're not, this is a very good topic to talk about what friends look like with couples. 
So you got to be mindful of that because, you know, you've heard that thing where they say, you know, married people should hang out with married people and single people should hang out with single people. And there's reasons behind all of that, you know. Um, so do I know your friends? Do you know my friends? Do I trust your friends? Do you trust, Do we, are they our friends together? I'm just trying to figure out what is inappropriate friends mean. It could be friends of bad influence, friends of the Who make that sex. decision though? Who um, make the decision whether the, the friend is a bad influence? Because I got have a friend you, you don't like. You don't need to hang out with that guy. Yeah, and I may have a reason why. Okay. If, not, if, if, I you got a solid, you if you a got a solid, reason why. If you got a solidified reason, I got you. Yeah. But if you just don't like the guy, no. I still should be able to hang out with my friend even if you don't like him. Yo, you liking my friend does not make the decision that I don't hang out with my friend. Okay. And Unless you, you got a solidified reason that, that I go, okay, I can understand why you don't like my friend because maybe he do drugs, maybe he do this, right. maybe he That's do that. That's what I said. That's okay. it. You know, but if you just don't like him because sometimes, influence. But sometimes you can dislike a person and not have a solidified reason why you dislike that is the true. person. That is so true. So I'm saying dislike can't be solely a reason why I cannot hang out yeah. with my homeboy round the way we grew up in the neighborhood and now I'm married and you don't like them. Mm -hmm. I can't really speak on that because you don't have any friends so of that. I do have caliber. friends, Charlotte. I do have friends. So I we put this out on national <laughs> television saying I don't have friends. I got plenty of friends. Matter of fact, I got a friend trying to call me now. Okay. Well, maybe I don't. All right. <laughs> But anyway, it, it, that it, is something it, to look at. It got to be a, a, a solidified, yeah. tangible reason why one person may feel the friend is inappropriate, and they bring that to the table and have a discussion what that looks like. Okay, okay. And, and then you value what your partner is saying about your friends. You don't be so rigid on your side. There's nothing wrong with him, and and, and knowing that this person may be uh, abusing drugs or hanging in the wrong place yeah, in the wrong yeah. area and stuff, and and and, and it'll create an influence over you. Maybe it's a, 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 a single guy that's, you know, always having a lot of single women around them and stuff. And then you get in that environment, yeah. you're around a lot of single women that, that may influence Temptation. that continue. Yeah, that's so right. So that may, may not be an appropriate friend that you want to hang around. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. you know, even, but, even if he just, you know, joking around and thinking, you know, this is, yeah. mm, it's not good. Yeah. It's not good. And for, you know, for the most part, uh, especially as we mature, we want to uh, hang around, around friends that kind of influence us to be better, greater, definitely, and positive. Definitely. You know, yeah, friends that maybe, with. maybe on a higher level and you right. aspire to the level they own and stuff, yeah. right? Right. Because, you know, it, it's, 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 it's very positive in, in your life. And then your spouse will respect that because if they influence you to be better and greater, then, of course, your spouse wants you to be better and greater. Yeah. Don't let them do the influence on you. When it's the negative way. The negative, yes. Right. Definitely. Right. And then the other one is, is friends of the opposite sex. Mm. You're not hanging around with, with my girlfriend who we've been friends for 20, 30 years. What's wrong with that, Charlie? I, I don't think you have. I'm not talking oh. about me. Why are you trying Sorry. to make this video about <laughs> me? Uh, but I do have friends. I'm not going to start having my friends call me. Okay. Right, and talk to you first. And, mm. and again, different couples, different scenarios, uh, understand things differently, you know, and people do have friends of the opposite sex. Right, and it's okay to have friends of the opposite sex as, as long as both partner uh, is okay with that friendship and the, 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 the opposite sex, the person of the opposite sex is not trying to, you know, secretly get with you or trying yeah. to be with you or you trying to secretly be with them. You know, as long as those things are not occurring, it's I'll okay. I'll be mindful of that and also knowing the history of that friendship as well. What are you saying, Charlie? You don't trust me? No, that's not what I'm saying. This video is All not right. about you. Um, oh, okay. This video is not about me. All right. So let's move on. All right. So that brings us to uh, number four, under establishing boundaries. So what about actions? Where are you going? What are you doing, Charlie? Uh, it says homeboy. <laughs> homeboy. So what am I doing? Right. Yeah, that's the main thing and stuff. And you, 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 you definitely want your partner to know. You know what are you doing? That's right. I mean, because you want to you want to give them peace of mind. Yes, okay? definitely, definitely. That you, whatever you're doing, you're still gonna be respectful. You're still gonna be responsible. You're still gonna be accountable, and you're still married. That's right, right. And you shouldn't uh, take offense that that question is asked. What are you gonna be doing? Right, because ultimately you married, and you should act like a married person. Right. Okay? And a mad person can't go anywhere and do anything. 
With anybody. With anybody because you're disrespecting your spouse. Yes. And the, and just because they're not there doesn't mean you know, they're not there. They're not going to see it. They're not going to know. But you will know. Yes. That's right. So are you being respectful? Are you being accountable? Are you trustworthy? So definitely, you want your spouse to know what you're doing. Mm-hmm. And Yeah. Yeah, because that's something, you, as a married man, you should not be doing. Exactly. Exactly. So, uh, you just got to be mindful of that. Establishing and, boundaries is huge when it, come, when it comes to going out and hanging out with the homeboys because ultimately, when you do that, you still want to respect how your partner feels about that without wholeheartedly excluding it from what is excluding it from your relationship. Yeah, definitely. Keep that in mind. Uh, actions are big, right? All right, so let's move on to the second point here. And it's a big one here. Being understanding. Hmm. So Matthew seven twelve, and this is the message. Bible, it reads, Here is a simple rule of thumb guide for behavior. Ask yourself what you want people to do for you. Then grab the initiative and do it for them. Ooh. Yes, because if you want to be understood, guess what you want to do? The understanding. The understanding. You yes. want to be understood. It's vice versa. It's not just one-sided. So this this is huge in the relationship. And perhaps the biggest understanding when it comes out to hanging out with the homeboys is that you understand that your spouse want to spend time with his friend. Mm-hmm. And you want to understand that and not try to force him not to spend time with his friend because perhaps you don't like like some of his friends or whatever the case may be going on, you want to be understanding of that. Okay. Right? So, you know, we, we need separate times, other activities outside of our spouse. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. everything we do shouldn't include our spouse. Okay. So, you know, I want the, the bromance going on. <laughs> bromance. Okay. All right. The, the brotherly love, Charlie. Okay. Yeah, go with that one. Go with that one? Yeah. They're the same thing. Uh, Romance, brother, love, no, the same not. thing. Okay, but anyway, to me, all right, being understanding, that goes both ways, too. You have to understand the point of view where your how your spouse feels. If they have a problem with that, if it's too much, if it's risky behavior, um, if they, they don't agree with where you're going with, you know, how much time is taken out. That's why the boundary is so important. Mm -hmm. If you establish agreeable boundaries, and and earlier we said that when you're doing these boundaries, a yes or no, and you establish those things and and, and get a yes and an agreement, then it makes being understanding so much easier. Mm -hmm. Because now we're understanding the do's and don'ts, what I can do, what I can't do, and what the time looks like and where I'm going. My partner understands all of that. Yeah. But also being comfortable with what you say. If you say you don't have a problem with it. Mm. Yeah, don't say, you know, I have no problem with, problem with you staying out at 4 a.m. But really deep down inside you do. Right, right. Right. Or you don't have a problem with them staying out four nights a week, but then right. you really do. And then Because we, we have heard that. I have no problem with my, my spouse hanging out with the uh, friends. I have no problem with that. And they say that, but they don't mean that. Yeah, but you, yeah, you got to really... Really, right. really evaluate yourself in that moment, um, because and think about the big picture. You know, yeah, it's okay now we just getting together and everything, but how is that really going to look for the relationship and down the road? Because especially when you're getting into a new relationship, it is mm-hmm. very critical to be together. You understand what I'm saying? As much as possible, because you're growing the relationship, you're nurturing it. If you're going to be apart, you might as well stay apart. That's right. You got married to be together. Right. Okay? And part of getting married and being together is spending time, with my, <clears throat> spending time with my partner, understanding them, their thoughts and their feelings. Okay? Learning each other. Yeah. Right. You're learning each other as you grow in the relationship. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. So the third <laughs> point in all of this, uh, we want to make plans with our partner. That's right. You can't... Uh, exclude your, your partner out when you're trying to do things and enjoy and have fun. It's, it's not just uh, 
spending time with your friends, but you want to spend time with your partner. Right. I mean, that's what that's what you married and said. You know, I'm, I'm gonna be with you. That's my that's your ride or die. You know, that's the person that that's gonna be number one in your life. So definitely, you want to make make time to spend with your partner, enjoying each other, laughing. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, just having a good time together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because if you're not having a good time together with your partner, it may create this platform. Well, I can't have a good time at home, so I'm going to go out and have a good time. Right, right. Because every time I go home, there's somebody at the house nagging all the time. So I got to get out of this house and go hang, hang out with my friends because uh, they are fun. My wife is no fun at all. What's the look uh, for? What's <laughs> the look for, man? Are uh, we still on the show? Yeah, we are. We are. I just stopped and thought about, you know. Men have that thought process. Yeah. Well, why would you get that? Why would you get nagging? So I'm just but, saying uh, I don't. Maybe something not going quite right. And and, and, and in reality, it may not be nagging. I may just feel like it's nagging. Because that that, uh, 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 perspective has kind of been put out there that women nag, right? So it doesn't take much. When I I hear you talking about things, I go straight to the nagging platform. Mm. And I may try to avoid that nagging platform. So, you know, versus going home, wanting to spend time with my spouse, you know, I'm going to spend time with my friends because I, I have no fun when I'm with you. So you got to intentionally make plans with your partner so that y'all can have fun together. Yes. And I like that you use the word be uh, intentional. Right. Be intentional. You got to be intentional. It just doesn't happen. Right. You know, spending time to, and, and spending time together means y'all doing something together, you enjoying it. And oftentimes we, we get, uh, life gets in the way, you know. I got a routine of going home every day and I'm doing this. And you think that because you're going home with your spouse, you're spending time. You probably not. You may be in a separate room. You may be doing this. They may be doing that. You may have the kids. You're doing all these things, and you find yourself on a daily routine, not spending any time with your spouse. And then when you get ready to do something, you're hanging hanging out with the homeboys. That creates dysfunction. Right. Because you're not hanging out with your your, 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 supposed to be your bestie, your spouse. Right. You know what are y'all doing to have fun? Yeah. What are we doing to have fun? This. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. Also, just. Be intentional. Invest in your relationship. Don't make it allow it to end up being one sided. Right, because you shouldn't only be having fun with your with your fellas, right. with your homeboys. You should exactly. have fun with your spouse. Yeah. Why did you marry? You married them not to have fun? Yeah, right. No, you married them to have fun with them, enjoy them, and laugh and talk and spend time together. Mm-hmm. I like spending time with Charlie. I'm Charlie, glad you do. Charlie? I like spending time with you as well. Man, I had to make you say that. No. Oh, no. Something's <laughs> going on, y'all. Man. Anyway, this is uh, this is just, we just got to be aware of where we are, where we stand in our relationship. Um, communication is critical with this, you know? All right. So, great points, Ronald. Another great video, guys. Thank you for joining us, and we will see you again next week with another hot topic. All right. See y'all later. Bye.